Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at a pen from a brand that I have not reviewed that often and that is Graf von Faber-Castell. I have reviewed quite a couple of Faber-Castell pens but the fancy uh, line in that from that brand is called Graf von Faber-Castell and uh, this is the Tamizio and the Tamizio I think is a, is a an interesting looking pen. Now, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. Okay, a box, sleeve, box. Uh, the box has the uh, Graf and Faber Castell logo on there. I've always enjoyed that. It's very simple, but it, it's nice. It, it, it gives the pen a nice uh, touch, I think. Cardboard opens up, a couple of things in there. Um, there is a, uh, a little booklet filling instructions, they also make pencils and such um, and um, little bed, you can put three pens in there, kind of nice for storage, you can put multiple pens in and then you have the little bag, the pen came in uh, what I forgot to mention by the way is that this pen was sent over by Pen Boutique so thank you Pen Boutique what about the pen? This is the pen. Clearly, this is a girlish pink, uh, but there are other uh, 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 finishes as well. So let's have a look and see what this pen is all about. Finial. As you can see, it says Graf von Faber Castell with a little black thing. It's it's all very elegant. This line, I think. Uh, cap, little groove there. I like that. Nice clip. And uh, at the back here it says made in Germany. Actually it says handmade in Germany. Clip is spring loaded. It's nice, very comfy. And because it slopes up like a ski slope, uh, you can very easily put that in anything. It doesn't matter. So that's, I, I really, I, I like those types of clips. Then we have the uh, body. It's grooved. It's some, some type of, I don't know, plastic resin or something. Um, and it, it, it feels nice to the touch. Then we have this little end cap with a bit of a lip there and uh, the cap pops off and kind of pops on. It doesn't really click into place though. So it posts securely but doesn't click into place. Then you have one of the world's smallest sections uh, and then you have the nib. The nib is steel actually. Um, so. It's not a gold nib, a lot of the Faber Castell pens have gold nibs, this one is steel. It has that logo again, uh, with a little uh, heraldry shield on there, and it says M for medium. And the pen is cartridge converter filled. Or a little um, converter that also says Faber Castell, so not Graf, but Faber Castell. That's it. Now, clearly, with a pen like this, you're not really supposed to hold the section in the traditional sense, so you don't really hold it there, because that clearly wouldn't work. You are supposed to post these, and then hold them a little higher on the barrel. Graf, uh, sorry, Faber-Castell also has a couple of these models that I've also reviewed in the past. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, for me, it just doesn't really work so well. To, to hold it at the barrel means that there's absolutely no hourglass shape or tapering or whatever so there's very little for your fingers to hold on to and for some people that may be great um, but for me I, I find it a bit uncomfortable then the fact that this cap does not really go on there that securely I mean it's all right I, I'm willing to do this but I can already feel there you go feel the pen move and it will fall out if a pen design rests on holding the barrel and posting I mean I can't hold this unposted it disappears into my hand so if the design rests on posting the pen, then I would say make sure that the pen posts really securely. Have this lip actually work, and unless I can't do it, no, I, I, it's just it just won't click in place. So I, I, I'm not that impressed by that design. The ribs, it has some sort of fluted design. Uh, the ribs, that's cute, but also when you're holding it, I don't find that particularly comfortable to be honest. So, when it comes to holding this pen, I don't find it that great. However, what do I like about the pen? I've already talked about the, uh, the, the, the clip, but I mean, that's just a clip. But, the nib is phenomenal. 
I'm really impressed by the nib. It writes super smoothly, really pleasantly. I have sung the praises of the uh, Faber Castell E Motion steel nibs. Man, those nibs in broad are fantastic. I really think they are super, super smooth. And Grafen Faber Castell nails it as well. Very comfortable, very pleasant to use, very smooth, nice flow, rich, juicy flow. That is very, very neat. So, to me, that really reclaims a lot of this pen, even though I, I don't find it comfortable to hold. At the end of the day, you buy a pen for one purpose, and that is to write. And this pen writes. So it's difficult when you review something like this, because for me, of course, obviously holding the pen is a very big thing. But you weigh factors. And if you were to ask me, I mean, Pen Boutique, send me this, but would you buy this? Well, I probably would not buy this, because I, I also don't really care for the design that much. Notwithstanding the fact that this one is pink, guess who picked this? Um, but uh, the nib, that makes up for a lot. And that is a very important factor. If a pen is extremely comfortable to hold, very easy to disassemble, disassemble, whatever else you, you find important, but it doesn't write, and it doesn't really work. Or it doesn't write comfortably, or it doesn't write well, or the nib is too dry out of the box, or whatever, then I think that's a big factor. So I was just trying to explain a little bit of my thinking process. I would recommend this pen. This is one of those things you probably want to try out in a shop if you can. Okay, now having said all of that, dimensions of the pen will be on the website, sbrebrown.com, as well as high-resolution pictures, sbrebrown.com. Um, that's it. We need to see this pen in action. That's what's coming up next. Pen Boutique, thank you kindly for sending me this. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful so far, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, well here we go with the Graf von Faber Castell Tamizio Tamizio M I yeah I think it's all right. Uh, the nib is medium and the ink is cross violet. Which, to be honest, may be one of my new favorite inks. I, I really like it, especially in, in very broad nibs. It gives a really nice shading. Uh, it also has a bit of sheen, for those of you who like such a thing. You know who you are. Okay, let's do some writing. Um, the um, uh, This was supposed to be Q, but now it's kind of like a G. Nice, consistent ink flow. Um, I did notice that the pen runs dry quickly. I mean, not, no, I shouldn't say runs dry. It's fine here. Um, I should say it uh, dries out quickly when it's capped. After f uh, a short while, it, it can already be quite dry. So I had to prime this a bit before I started to write which I never like, because of course that biases the results of the wetness a bit. Um, you see it's super wet now, but in reality I did find this a, a nicely tuned, uh, slightly wettish nib. It's just that it dries out quickly when capped. Okay, line variation. It's not stellar, but there definitely is some variation to be had. Alright, reverse writing gets scratchier, runs dry, I think. But maybe a word or two, three, maybe a short sentence, you could you could get away with that. Um, in all, pretty nice pen. Kind thank you to Pen Boutique for sending it over. Hope this was useful. And I'll gladly see you later.